Chuck. Ciao guys, I'm Woody here, so in this video I'm gonna talk to you about the Windows Mixed Reality for Steam VR beta branch where they had a finally very very interesting feature that we were waiting from pretty much the beginning but first thank you so much for watching if you're new from the channel feel free to check out all the other video in the channel and if you like what you see and want to keep an update about VR and tech in general just click or tap the subscribe button so you don't miss anything let's go to the weekend topic now and let's see together all the new update and let's explain a little what they did and what these updates are so let's start with the description. So what they improved at the beginning is the experimental motion reprojection. And if you don't know what it is, that's a pretty much what Oculus is doing with that synchronous space warp, but in a little different way. And what the GPU is going to do, what the game is going to do on SteamVR is going to aim for the 45 frames per second instead of the 90 that we need to don't be uh, motion sick and stuff but using motion vectors from the GPU. So VR our motion at the end, the GPU is gonna extrapolate the next frame instead of having to render the real frame. So it's gonna move the frame a little to get to the position where we expect it to be and it's gonna calculate the position in the right way because of our movement. And that's very, very interesting because uh, save a lot of power for the GPU and that's why it's so used uh, on the Oculus like when you see on uh, Robo Recall we have amazing graphics and you know like why my low-end PC like is running that so well because probably it's using the this kind of reprojection and it helps a lot a lot for the quality but also creates some time some little distortion some little aberration some little artifacts in the visual but are very very minor and really depends on the power of the GPU so if your GPU is more powerful these artifacts are gonna be minors for sure and they improve the automatic motion reprojection in this release so it's gonna work just better when you put it on automatic so it's gonna uh, understand better when to use it and when not and also they finally add the support for M AMD graphic cards so if you have a 480 580 a Vega 56 or 64 like if there are still some around if you're lucky enough or crazy enough to have it you're gonna be able to use the motion reprojection without any problem also they had a configuration to remove the active feedback from your controller that they added two months ago i'm not really sure why they opt for this possibility this kind of thing but more choice are better it's something that is disabled from default so you're not gonna be a problem but the most important part of the update actually that is a little unlucky because you're gonna be able to opt in it just if you have the 1760 72 build for the insider and i wasn't able to try it by myself because my computer just died like um, a week ago like rip and peace and now i have just my main computer over here for videos and stuff that i don't want to install like uh, the inside the build here because I don't want to have problems and not being able to deliver the videos to you. Anyway, what they added was like a Steam VR app finally, finally in the dashboard. So when you open the little dashboard, you're going to be able to just scroll down and select your Steam VR apps and put them in your cliff out. So you're going to be able to launch them from there directly without going to Steam VR every time. And the most interesting thing is also that with the last update, they took out the use the VRAM for the cliff out when you start a game so you're not gonna have the problem that you have like to start steam vr before even the cliff out so you're not gonna have the gpu used by the cliff out like it was before everything was will work flawlessly and you probably will start to use the cliff out a little more than before also the steam vr dashboard is now accessible from the quick action menu so this is the menu that is going to pop up with the new insider build so instead of going back to the cliff house or like your loft when you press on the windows button um, and interrupting like your game and stuff that was very very annoying you're going to get in a little dashboard when you're going to be able to decide if you want to take a screenshot record change the volume go to the cliff house or now also to open the steam vr dashboard and that's super super nice and it's a great addition not just because you're finally be you're gonna be finally able to do it but also because finally we're gonna be able to use the click on the thumbstick to finally like run and everything and not having that 
thumb stick on the left unusable because when you press it you automatically get in the steam vr dashboard instead of running and stuff so uh, it was a kind of limited and now we're not gonna have that problem anymore and that's just just amazing anyway i still don't understand why they're still doing this politics of like pushing the updates some updates with the windows updates because uh, it takes out a lot of speed in development so like uh, we have to wait a lot of time we I've, we don't have a time frame for the next release for Windows with the next update where we're gonna use it. So I never really suggest to get inside the build if you're not a little crazy and you want to risk a little stuff and like have a instability and everything. But I uh, wanna make this video to let you know that at least they improved other stuff and these things are coming and I'm very, very excited for that. Let's task Microsoft together to stop doing this thing because we want just the update right away as fast as possible because this platform has to go faster than what is going to grow even faster than what is doing now anyway guys if you like the video like if you didn't like the video dislike subscribe to the channel for more about vr and tech in general I see you guys in the next video where we're gonna talk about probably the amazon prime deals for vr that for sure are gonna be out i see you guys next video ciao